Johnson, as we've studied, was a creature of Congress. He was a man who loved Congress, he loved legislating, and he defined his legacy very much by what he could get Congress to do. I will go into class and, and sometimes I will have a perspective that I've had in my head on a subject. And I've had many moments uh, when students have changed that. They've, they've just seen the argument very differently and they've challenged me. Professor Zelizer is very connected to politics and before I even started taking the class, I Googled him and you immediately get tens and tens of hits uh, um, of him in, in relevant modern political context. Five years ago, I decided I was going to move my entire research program to work on problems related to energy. I felt that my expertise in developing and applying quantum mechanics-based methods could, in fact, be reoriented to move the planet to a sustainable future. There has to be a huge effort in research into moving us onto a sustainable path. There's an amazing number of opportunities for undergraduate research in energy and the environment. I'm researching magnesium batteries. They're an alternative to lithium ion batteries. There is so much more magnesium, it's about four times more abundant than lithium in the Earth's crust. That's about the okay. required number. My role at Rockefeller College is to be the incredibly lucky recipient of some of the best intellectual energy and uh, social joy that I've ever been in the midst of. We have students who are extraordinarily acute and generous socially. We have students who are extraordinarily acute and generous in more measurable intellectual ways. I like teaching Victorian literature because I think it helps us understand a little bit about how much our inexhaustible faith in the idea of romance, how rooted this is in the novels of, of an earlier century.